<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Wonderland Asylum. Back today with issue 50 of the Hachette Parkworks release of Titanic, the ship, the legend. Okay, so what's in the magazine for issue 50? White Star Line, Origins of the Myth, goes into how the White Star Line started. The uh, first White Star Line ship, the RMS Taylor. Apparently it was ill-fated. <laughs> Not like White Star Line, eh? Um, there's some of the crockery that was recovered from the wreck of the Taylor. And uh, there's a different ship. That is the Red Jacket going through the ice flows of Cape Horn. And that apparently is uh, Thomas Ismay. White Star Line. <clears throat> and there's an article on the sinking of the Taylor. <laughs> and again, part two of the decorative style of Titanic. Yep, so old Dutch style, Renaissance style, and then modern Dutch style all had a place aboard the Titanic. <laughs> uh, okay, and again, more about how Titanic was decorated. And then we're on to the instructions. So without further ado, let's have a look at what's in the box today. Okay, so in the box for issue 50, brown envelopes, we have a wire, which presumably will go with the other wire that we haven't used, and we have another PCB with LEDs and some sockets in it. wonder if we'll be using that. <laughs> uh, inside horrible brown envelope number one, we have three bolts and two benches. Again, just tear it open, make sure there's nothing else in it. Since I've done away with the clear plastic. Hippies. Ooh. In here we have the dome for the aft, not so grand staircase. Again, very nicely designed, very nicely etched, but I just put to the side for now. We have the uh, canvas covers, two of them. Again, just making sure there's nothing else in there. And we have the Davit pieces. Now hopefully this will be a bit simpler since there's only one. And we have the pieces. Now I would imagine this piece here is for the cutter. Now as you can see, the normal lifeboats are this size, the cutter held next to them is just slightly smaller. <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's move the rest of the pieces aside, because the first part we need is in fact the cutter. Move the benches, move all of these, and we need these two parts here. Let's just have a look at what way they're supposed to be going in. So the cutter looks like this. Right, so not that way then. Trying to establish which way around they're supposed to go because it's not very clear from the pictures which one of these is supposed to go in which way. <coughs> ah, right, okay. There's a kind of half moon shape that you can see there. That has to be pointing to this side of the boat. So it will look from the picture like that and that's how it has to be glued in okay so give me two seconds ok 
get some glue. Again, pictures aren't great, so hopefully this gives you a bit more clarity and assistance. As I say, this is the only real bit of glue we'll be using. My normal glue is this glue it vacuum sealed glue from the range in the UK. I'm told the closest match, if you don't have a range store near you or you don't live in the UK, is Loctite. So yeah, so... It should go like that, so the davit is facing, or the, the pieces, it should lean slightly out the way, and the half moon shape should be facing like that. So I'm just going to test fit the other one, just make sure they're sitting properly. It's just, it's really not very clear on how this is all supposed to sit. But yes, it's supposed to sit thus. The half moon shape like that, and it's sitting like that. Now the pole obviously doesn't sit straight um, because of the, the shape of it. So dab a little bit of glue in there. And it should sit like that. Now it looks awful higgledy piggledy, but just make sure the half moon shape is facing that way and that it's in straight otherwise. It's not going to work when it comes to, to hanging the boat. I think it looks hideous, but it must be accurate, so. Again, the other one just make sure they're sitting straight and they line up like that because if they don't line up straight again it's not gonna hang properly and that's us done with the cutter for now so we set that to the side <clears throat> now the next piece we need is one of the lifeboats and we need the tarpaulin clips over the top. It doesn't really clip all that well to be honest with you. It more kind of just perches on the top. And then we're fitting these pieces. Again there's no, they're not bi bi-directional in any way. They will only fit one way and they're not being glued at this stage. It's, they're just a push fit at the moment. No doubt when it comes to fitting them later on if they don't fit that well. We will glue them in, but that's what they're looking like. We now have quite a collection of bolts, actually. <laughs> and I think that's actually all we're doing with the bolts. So this boat just gets kept safe for later. So I'm going to clip the tarpaulin over the top just so it doesn't go missing. But yeah, that's we don't need to do anything with that bolt. So those three boats just get put aside safely for now. And before I go bringing the deck over, I am just going to assemble the davit. And the way it's to be assembled is with, again, that raised nub should face to the left. And the davit will then go in like that. So again, needs glue. So just a little dot in each hole. This That's why I like this glue, is because it's strong enough to hold with just a little bit of glue. It'll hold it, but it also means if you do have to take it out to fix it, it's possible. And that's what the davit should look like. And if I hold the top, you can see there. That's what it looks like. Okay, <clears throat> so for the next part, I need to bring over the boat deck. So I will return in just a moment. Okay, so here is the boat deck. And the first thing we're going to do is 
my favourite thing, turn it upside down and on this part here that we don't currently have an LED strip we're fitting this LED strip so again as usual put it under two of the clips will it clip in willingly well on that side yeah actually that was probably the easiest one I don't know if they've made some adjustments to try and and make it easier but apparently no they haven't since this one's not any easier at all that must just have been a fluke <laughs> yeah, there we go there we are okay so that is that LED strip attached again it will only go in one way because you can see where that indent and cut out is it will only go there okay and the other thing we need to do is to fit that davit and it goes just here on the where the grand staircase is supposed to go as you see I still haven't fitted mine I'm looking to see if there are other options but there don't appear to be at the moment so and this is just finishing the row of davits on this side. Again, I don't think there's any need to glue. No, because it fits in quite snugly into the deck there. And that finishes off that row of davits, which is very nice. Now we're just left with two benches. And they go just slightly further along, I'm just trying to look where they go, ah, they go into these slots here, and they will need glue, because um, as I say I fitted the bench to the forward section and the, it needed glue. There we go, and there we go. So, first bench again there are far more detailed versions of the benches if you want to buy either the Pontos or the KA photo etch sets or if you want to go as far as to buy 3D printed ones there are 3D printed benches available but I think these ones fit their purpose just fine um, but yeah with those benches fitted looking just like that that's all there is to do for this stage with the exception of putting the dome on the not just as grand staircase now I'm going to need to slide the dome all the way over here and it gets dropped in there it actually fits quite snugly so it may not fall out constantly unlike the other one but that looks just like that and that is all believe it or not there is to do in issue 50 thank you as always for watching so that's all's all done for issue 50 again not a tremendous amount to do it does add a couple of wee bits I say we've now got a stock of boats building up which will obviously be fitted to the ship at a later date and we have another LED strip and another wire which will be used later to connect everything together. <clears throat> so what's coming in issue 51? Again slightly different we have one of the deck houses uh, I believe it's the one that goes immediately above the where the engine room is going to sit so yeah, some more photo etch with the deck housing, some details and vents and everything for that. So I do have that here. I have issue 51 and 52 here still to do. So quite looking forward to cracking on with them. But again, if I can just show you for scale, this is the boat deck. There we have the bridge, all the davits that we've been working on, over to where the grand staircase should sit. I've not put it in yet all the way along here and that is just the boat deck <laughs> so you can see a big old ship this is going to be 
And uh, yeah, as I say, we have several of these lifeboats and that was the first little cutter as well. And of course, my slightly painted and modified grand staircase. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all there is to do for issue 50, halfway to 100, uh, but not quite halfway to done. Um, that'll be issue 70. But thank you very much as always for watching. Um, please do leave a like, leave a comment, um, drop me a subscribe, why not? Um, it does help out with the channel massively. And obviously being subscribed means that you'll be notified when future content is uploaded. But as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out, everyone.